I'm going to ask y'all one clear, clear, clear question, right? Well, no, it's going to be a couple. First of all, so I had this lady taken to the hospital. I go visit her at the hospital. You complain that I made a threat at the hospital, which was a lie. I merely shared and spoke by truth on who I am and how I felt about my situation on losing a two-on-one person. So now with that being said, I had a family member that was supposed to come in and notify me when he came in. He's not answering his phone. I called to the hospital to check on this particular person and their well-being, which I've been calling all week. Now suddenly, I'm not on the patient's list, listed as the patient, patient's son. I was suddenly removed. So, hmm, how am I supposed to receive any information on if this person passes away or not? How am I supposed to take care of any of this person's financial business or any of her business if I have no notification of what's going on with this person? So now mysteriously, my name has been removed from this list. So I'm not going to question that. It just happened. So I'm going to say, that I'm gonna, now here's something else. Now here's the main question. Are you really thinking that you can vote over who your creator is and who runs his creations and who created his creations? No, you can't. So get your dumb ass thoughts out the fucking gutter. That's one. Two, are you so low vibrational that you're sitting here body shaming me? Are you really? Are you fucking ingrates? You insecure piece of shit ass niggas and you insecure piece of shit ass bitches that get up and do your hair and your nails and your face and your eyes and your body every day? Body shaming somebody? When you sit up and you accept a flat chested ass bitch, you can't accept a little dick nigga? Really? Really? See, this is why I'm killing y'all ego and pride. Because if you think somebody with a big dick is finna run your near future, I wonder how you would have felt if I was a female. Y'all thought y'all was gonna fuck on me as a female when I'm focused on the future and bring shit together? No. Nah. See, take your mind out the gutter. That's one. Two, you're obsessed with this little dick motherfucker no matter how much you wanna talk shit about it. That's two. Three, bitch, my dick ain't little. A little dick nigga don't break magnums. Magnum extra larges or even Magnum XXLs. So with that being said, you're keeping pussy away from me for a reason. So I don't prove you fucking wrong and make you out to be the liar that you fucking are. And that's clear. We clear as fuck that y'all liars because y'all fabricate lies. You fabricate false charges. So you're liars. Everything you say and do is a fucking lie. So everything you say and do about me is a fucking lie. So with that being said, I'm clearing that part out. So now, back to what I was saying to you. Are you motherfuckers body shaming somebody? Are you really targeting me? And are you really body shaming your creator? So that clearly says that you have no respect for the flesh that I, that I put your bitch ass spirit in. So that means you don't respect the spirit in you. That means you don't respect the body that you in. Because for you to body shame me, bitch, you're body shaming yourself. Stupids. That part. So now with that being said. You ain't just body shaming me. With that being said, I'm not the only nigga with the smoke. I don't listen. Number one, I'm a male and a female. So you niggas keep comparing yourself to a female with a dick. That part. You females keep trying to make it seem like my shit ain't this and ain't that, but I'm both. And it is this and it's that and even more. Cause I'm